Hello, today I'll show you how to create a user interface input channels. The input channels can be used to control our DC1 Dyno controller physical output. In this case, we'll create a channel that will be used to control a servo motor position. Uh, we'll set up a shortcut to increase and to decrease the position. Mm, to use this channel for output control, we need to set the quantity to fraction and we'll set the step for shortcut to 10%. Okay, mm, now let's uh, set up uh, the output. Uh, we need to set it up to generate uh, RC pulse. Okay, now our servo is uh, live because it uh, got the correct uh, pulse. Let's uh, set the source for this output. It will be argument. And we'll use our newly created uh, channel. Okay. Now let's switch to the run tab. In the run tab, we will create a widget that will allow us to uh, change the value of our channel. Uh, we can enter value here manually. We can change it with mouse wheel. Or if the focus is uh, somewhere else, we can use our shortcut to change the value and to move the servo motor. Um, let's continue our example with uh, DC motor control. Um, we go back to settings and to inputs. Let's create a new channel. It will be called motor control. Uh, we again set the quantity to fraction and this time we'll set a toggle shortcut. Okay. Let's go to output setup. It's on the second output. Uh, we leave the configuration uh, as it is uh, because it's, it's DC motor. We set the source again to argument, to channel, and we select uh, our motor control channel. We go to run, and uh, we will control this channel with input button. Now with this button, we can turn the motor on or off or we can use our shortcuts to do it. Let's expand our example with creation of a function that will control the second motor. We go to settings and we create a new function. The second motor will be activated uh, when the servo position from our input channel. Okay, let's search for it. Will be higher than 50%. Again, we need set to set the quantity to fraction. So it can be used to control the output. We attach it to third output. We switch back to run and we will place new indicator here. here. that will show us the state of the function. Okay, let's increase the servo position.
and the function activates second motor. And we still can activate the first one with a button.